We all have behaviors that we don't like. We all have habits that we wish we could get rid of. Every one of us has problems with intrusive thoughts, negative things, things that get in our way from progressing and getting us to the things we like. Conscious mind is really, really misunderstood. When most people think about the subconscious mind, they see it as like an unruly child that's getting in your way. The subconscious mind is actually the exact opposite. The subconscious mind is almost like a silent observer. It sees everything. It records everything. So let's take one technique right now. We're going to do this really quickly. What you're going to do is get some place where you're comfortable. You can sit down, you can lay down. You don't want to stand up particularly. And I just want you to take some nice deep breaths and just slowly and gradually, just slow your breathing down a little bit, that breath five times. And what that does is that it slows your heart rate down and it also brings your brain waves from the beta state, which is the awake state, to the alpha state, and then even down to the theta state. And in the theta state, that's where your brain is most receptive. And after you do that, we're just gonna do a progressive body relaxation. I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with the top of your head. I'm going to call out body parts. And you're just gonna notice them. And then when we get to the end, I'm going to give you a command to relax. And when you do that, you will at that point be in a state of self-hypnosis. So notice, I'm not hypnotizing you, I am teaching you how to hypnotize yourself. And after that, we're going to take just a few minutes. And what I want you to do is visualize something you'd like to change. And then you're just gonna see yourself doing that activity or feeling that feeling. Now, here's the thing. You tell me you can't visualize, I'm gonna tell you that most people have trouble visualizing. And so what you wanna do instead, if you can't see it, if you can't visualize, what you wanna do is bring up the feeling, the accomplishment of having achieved this behavior or this goal or this thought. And you wanna sit with that feeling as long as you can. Try not to use words for that, but instead sit with the feeling and the idea that you have done what it is that you want to do. Then after that two minute period, we're gonna come back and we're gonna end, okay? So here we go. So remember, five breaths in and out, progressive relaxation. I'm gonna call it the body parts. You're gonna visualize along with feeling the feeling and feeling that feeling is more important than anything. And then we're gonna end. This is gonna take you three or four minutes tops. Here we go. So five breaths in and out. So one, pushing my stomach out, out through my mouth. Settling down, settling in, take another breath. Closing your eyes, settling in, settling down. Good, nice. Take another breath in. Ah, settling in, that's three. Taking another breath in, slowing down even more now. Breathing out. And five, next breath in, breathing in, breathing out. Nice, now we're gonna start with the top of your head and I'm gonna call out some body parts. I just want you to notice them at this point, close your eyes and relax. We're gonna start with the top of your head to your forehead, eyes, tip of your nose, your cheeks, chin, shoulders, chest, lungs, stomach, upper legs, knees, lower legs, feet, coming all the way back up to the top of your head. Upper back, mid back, lower back, buttocks, back of your legs, heels, soles of your feet. Very nice. Next, bring up the feeling along with the vision if you can of something you would like to change or achieve. And we're just gonna sit with that for the next two minutes. 
feel the feeling as intensely as you can. If you see, the, if you can see the vision, make the color big and bright. If you hear anything, make the sound loud, happy. Whatever you visualize, you want to put it in the positive, in the affirmative. So for example, if you're visualizing that you are eating less, then you want to say, I eat the appropriate amount. So now just sit for the next two minutes with that feeling and the vision. Just breathing normally, naturally, just settling in. Very good. Just keep breathing. Feeling nice and intensely. Sticking with it. Feeling that feeling. It's okay if your mind wanders. Just bring it back to where you were. And you can replay this as many times as you want. Fifteen more seconds. I know I am really feeling like this is achieved now. Five seconds. And now we're going to come back. So just bringing your breathing back, I'm going to count from 10 to 1, and when I reach 1, I'm going to snap my fingers and open your eyes. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, and one. Open your eyes. And you have now completed one self-hypnosis session, one short self-hypnosis session, which you can now take with you and use. And we relax, and we use the emotion and the visualization techniques, or the auditory, or the tactile, or using our senses instead of just this words all the time, what we're doing is we're giving ourselves access to our entire script of knowledge that we've, made, that we've gotten throughout our lifespan. And using transformational, using transformational techniques such as self-hypnosis, neurolinguistic programming, meditation, and other techniques such as that is the fastest way to get to your subconscious is what you want. So again, what you want to do here and what I want to empower you to do here is starting today, set aside five minutes a day, just like we just did, to settle yourself just like you just did. Give yourself the opportunity to feel what it's like to achieve what you want. And again, don't worry if you can't visualize it. Most people have difficulty visualizing. Very few people are very good at that. What our bodies are good at doing, though, is bringing up a feeling. And if you can't bring up a positive feeling on your own, just think about a positive experience and substitute that. Okay, so that, that makes it easier. Some people, some people use positive affirmations there. Come here. Come here on camera with me. Yeah. Bear can, my dog Bear here can tell you that some people use positive affirmations there, but see, dogs don't use words when they do that. Dogs use their feelings, and people need to start using their other senses 
than talking, talking, talking all the time like we are, like we always do. So what happens if you continue? <laughs> what happens? <laughs> what happens if you continue doing this? <laughs> First of all, your dog might like you a lot better. <laughs> but the big thing that it does is the more you allow yourself to access your subconscious, the more you are reprogramming your subconscious, the more you give yourself access to your subconscious, the less you're making decisions based on this talky, logical, even where the ego is involved, like, no, you can't do that, or no, they were mean, or though this or that. We want to get away from that, and we want to work instead with our feelings, what we truly is that we want. If you think about what it truly is what you want, what you really, really want are these feelings. So you might say, well, what I would really like is a mansion. Okay, well, is what you want a mansion? Or what is what you want is that feeling of opulence and richness. So to get that mansion, you need the feeling of opulence and richness. You might not know what the mansion looks like, but what you do know is that what the feeling would be. And honestly, if you can't bring that feeling up, then that's probably not the best goal for you. The more you practice this, the more you practice this, and the more you allow yourself to learn these techniques, the better you're going to get at it. So are you going to, are you going to get this the first time? No, you're not going to get this the first time. Even people who are kind of seasoned at stuff like this have difficulty with new tasks. It's because you're learning something new. Just like you didn't stand up and walk when you were a baby, you're not going to get this in the beginning. You need to give yourself time to practice, but I'm telling you, I'm promising you that if you give yourself the opportunity and you keep coming back to this channel and you give me the opportunity to teach you how to do this stuff, you are going to learn how to do it. And if you do that, then your life can supercharge because this is a fast track to learning habits. <clears throat> All the research, there's so much research out there that shows that Allowing yourself the opportunity to front-end your habits and your problem-solving, meaning front-ending it by seeing it as if it's already occurred. You can look at athletes, actors, billionaires, millionaires. Every one of them use these techniques. It's kind of like their little secret, except it's not a secret at all. It is easy, and it is there, and it is accessible. So, what do you do now? Now... You make sure you subscribe to me. You make sure you like this video and you can even share it and help me out. And the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna set up a time to practice this. And the third thing you're going to do is you're going to plan on coming back to my channel and doing the, looking at the next video where I will give you another technique. Sound good? Thanks so much for coming. Thanks so much for joining me on my channel. I'm so glad you were here and I'm looking forward to getting, getting to know every single one of you. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share, and let's get you moving on to your happy, healthy life. Take care. Love you. Love all of you. Bye-bye. See you next time.